Hey, Ra, can you hear me? Hey, Peter. Hey, sorry for being here. Yeah, no problem. Can we get started? I think I'm not sure if anybody else. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't know who else is joining, but I guess it's time. Can you see the screen share? I do. Okay. So, hello and welcome everyone to the Hyperledger Cacti Maintainers meeting. Please abide by the antitrust policy that I'm showing on the screen and also the Hyperledger Code of Conduct, which you can find link to on the Wiki page with the agenda for today's meeting. And with that said, I want to skip discussion item one because I have not had the time to prepare for it, but I do have Discussion item number two, for which I wanted to share my screen real quick. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yes. So the interesting part here is the auto upgrade syntax. Hopefully you can see it. So if I search in VS Code and I search for only package JSON files that have the auto upgrades uh, symbol, mm -hmm. then I still get 186 results. And so what I was thinking is that I was just going to do a replace all to remove all of these and then send a giant pull request with that. But uh, before I do that, I wanted to run it by everybody, if that's OK. Because if it is, he's, then... He's going to remove the caret, uh, not replace it with Zelda. Yeah. Yeah, so that way, it's just the exact version pinned down. No, there's another auto upgrade using tilde. You can probably replace that also. I think even that, uh, so uh, what's the main difference between tilde and caret? Tilde is for it... the patch version and caret is for the minor version. Auto upgrade. Okay. Yeah, it, you, I'm not able to find. Um, there are In no visa? tildes, but it doesn't matter. I would want the tildes to go as well because yeah, it doesn't matter yeah. what patch or or it doesn't matter if it's a patch or a minor because 
<laughs> if someone is pushing malware with an update, then they can do that in a patch as well. They, they just won't care to respect semantic versioning uh, standards anyway. So as long as any kind of auto upgrade is possible, it's basically a, a remote code execution flaw in a sense. <laughs> by way of supply chain attacks. And it's also, it also leads to those kind of bugs where well-intentioned maintainers of dependencies mess up and they accidentally push breaking changes in as a, as a patch, which also has happened. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it's more manual work to to keep everything up to date manually, but it's safer. That's basically my case. Okay. Yeah. Just um, see, you, you didn't find any till there? No. I thought there would be some, but there's literally none. Mm -hmm. uh, um, okay. That sounds fine to me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Then I'll uh, make the pull request. And then assuming that the tests are actually still passing, we can merge it. But obviously, if if somehow it just uh, destroys everything, then, then the approach will be to take a step back and try to do it piece by piece, you know, maybe one directory at a time or one package JSON at a time, and then figure out where and when it breaks. But hopefully that won't be the case. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that was one thing. And then I had another agenda item. Oh yeah, cleaning up package lock files. So the package lock files are not uh, doing anything in the sense that it is the yarn.lock file in the root that holds all the dependency information at this point because we hooked up all the packages to the um, to the mono repo. But with that said, there are still package lock. JSON files. Oh, actually, there's only one of them. Yeah, so there's still this one. Policy DSL. We can we can get rid of this file. We, yeah. Uh, honestly, this uh, this was experimental code which uh, got uh, we we, input, we added. I mean, the important to be were right at the beginning. You know, when we were making the first drop into the lab project. Mm -hmm. It's never been used literally. So get rid of it. Somebody needs to resume the work on this, but it's not, nothing has been done for two years now. Mm -hmm. Well, if if you're confident of it being deprecated, we could also just delete it, but I don't know if there's any problems with that. For now, I'm just talking about deleting the package log JSON file. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not talking about uh, deleting the folder, uh, but you can delete the uh, log file. Okay. Yeah. All right. So my pull request then will also include the deletion of the lock file just to do more cleanup. Sure. Yeah. And then what else did I have? Uh, oh yeah. So the backlog, the pull request backlog decluttering, I'm just going to have to do that next week because I'm still working on the list of pull requests that I want us to look at together. 
and also Zuru didn't make it and we would need him there as well. So yeah, I'll just put this item in the backlog for the next week. And then the last one is the quarterly report, which I have not created the draft for yet, but I will try to get that done tomorrow and then I'll send it out. Sure. So when you create it, uh, will you create it directly as a, uh, as a PR and uh, in the TOC repo? Yeah. Okay. And if I want to edit it, then what should I do? Uh, I think you, because you are on the TOC, you have edit rights on it automatically because it's in the TOC repo of which we are maintainers. Yeah, but I don't want to do that. Um, uh, do, do you want to uh, uh, share a description um, whenever, and uh, you know, I'll uh, I'll 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 give you updates as soon as uh, possible, like within a few hours. Yeah, that works too. I'm totally flexible. Thanks. Yeah, I uh, sorry, go on. Uh, you had other things to talk about than I'll talk. About. Uh, the last one is just uh, for you, because yeah. I, I figured maybe you wanted to talk about a documentation if you have anything. But other than that, I'm done. Uh, the only thing I want to say that is, uh, sorry, I I couldn't finish it last week. I got a bit sick, uh, but and I was traveling until Monday this week. So, uh, but I do plan to um, get a PR together by tomorrow. So, I'm planning to work on that today and tomorrow. So, um, hopefully, uh, can do that in time to add an entry in the quarterly report as well. Yeah, no worries. That sounds great to me. Just thanks again for doing it. Oh, okay. Sorry for the delay. And, uh, yeah, the... Uh, I mean, we already talked about this on the on the chat, but uh, the SATP, uh, sorry, the IETF conference is a couple of weeks from now, uh, and uh, the date for the our session got rescheduled. It looks like so the the preliminary agenda it was on Thursday the twenty seventh, but now it's on Tuesday the twenty fifth. Same week but different day. Oh. Okay. Okay, I have to go back and do some planning then because I wanted to, yeah. I wanted us to get together. Yeah. And I have a venue, I have a rooftop on my building, in my building that we can yeah, we, we can do, we can do that uh, any day. I'm, I'm there the entire week. So, and I believe Rafael also will be there. Yeah. Yes, yes, he, he messaged me as well. Okay, Art, yeah, I'll, I'll figure is... it out. Sure. Very good. Uh, nothing else from me. Okay. Yeah, nothing from me right now. Sandeep, anything? No. All right, this is a quick one then. Thanks everyone for joining and I'll talk to you next time. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.